Bridge is your file manager. You organize your images here, and this is where you go to open your files in Photoshop. Now, at first glance, it may seem kind of simple to include a file manager in Photoshop, but Bridge is much more than that. Now, don't sell Bridge short. It can streamline your work in so many different ways. But now having said that, my main use of Bridge is to find and open my images. I'll show you the basic function of Bridge, how to organize the workspace, but also introduce several of the other functions you can investigate later. But for now, as you are learning Photoshop, we'll concentrate on the basics to get you up and running. Now, just like in Photoshop, you can arrange everything on this workspace as you wish. But when you first open Bridge, this is the layout that is default. And if you look at the upper part of the workspace here, there are other layouts that are included that you can choose from. Number one is libraries. And when I was designing my logo, I have some of the graphic things that I used that are in the libraries section. There's not much here because most of my work is simply processing my images, but some of the uh, some of the graphics that I use for other things are located over here and very accessible. The other one is film strip, and this is the one geared towards photographers. And then output, where if you have images that you want to put, say, uh, four images on one sheet of print paper, you can do that here. And then if you're big on metadata, you can investigate and search for your images according to metadata. Now, the workspace that I have is right here. It's called mine for obvious reasons. I like my thumbnails on the right side of the workspace. And I also see a mirror image of my directory structure exactly the way it appears in Finder or if you're on a PC in Windows Explorer. So I'm very familiar with it. I don't have to relearn something and it just works for me. It's just my own personal preference, but you can do anything you want. Let's go back to essentials and show you how you can move things around. Number one is preview. I want the preview in the center, so I'm gonna bring it over, and as I drag it over to the center of the workspace, you see the blue border that appears, and just like as in Photoshop, when you do that and let go of the mouse, it'll reposition this tab space. Conversely, I'm gonna hit on content, and I'm gonna, and you can leave this here if you want to, if you wanna do it that way, but what I do is drag it back to the right side, and again, where the blue border appears is where it's gonna land, and I like it just like that. Now this publish tab, I'm gonna bring it down, and put it right there. And then I'm gonna take the metadata and bring it over to the left side of the workspace. I'm gonna take the keywords and do the same thing and put it with the metadata. And then I'm gonna compress all this down like this. And of course, when I wanna use it, I can bring it up. Just go down, drag it, bring it back up. We wanna do this then bring it up to here. I'm gonna get rid of this publish. I never use it, so I'm just gonna get rid of it. Now I can further arrange things by arranging these thumbnails in a single file configuration, which I like. You can sort your images in the thumbnail section according to date created, the file name, the type of file, whether it's a JPEG, a TIFF, or a raw image, the date modified, the date created, the size, dimensions, resolution, color profile, label, rating, keywords, and you can just simply arrange them however if you want to manually. Now on the left side, you can also search for images according to the file type, keywords, dates, orientation, whether it's a landscape or a portrait orientation, aspect ratio, which is sometimes helpful if you're using two different kinds of camera formats, Color mode, bit depth, ISO, exposure time, focal length, <laughs> the lens, the model, and also the serial number of the camera that you used. So lots of different ways to search for your work. Now for the moment, I have this arranged by date created, which is working for me. So everything is exactly the way I want it. I'm gonna take this and pull it back down. I'm not big on keywords. I don't use keywords hardly at all, if ever. I'm just not that oriented. You may be, more power to you. I use time. See how I have everything arranged according to date? Because I know if I'm looking for a waterfall shot in Yosemite, I'm gonna go to May, June, or maybe early July. So I know the dates that I need to go to. Putting keywords is just more work for me. Now once you get everything arranged the way you want it, and you wanna save your workspace, you come up here, click on this down arrow, new workspace, and I'm gonna call this demo. And you want both of these checked 
uh, save window location and save sort order. Uh, you want this in there because it'll remember what you had the next time you open Bridge. Go save, and then you'll notice right up here, your own personal workspace will be saved, just like in Photoshop. So if you have two or more people working in the program, your workspace will be saved. Now here's one little trick that I think it is worth knowing especially if you're new. I'm going to take these images here. Let's see. Let me do this a bit differently. I'm going to come down here and get these images that were shot at tunnel view. So let's go with this one. And there's a bunch of them. And that's the thing is that if you've got a lot of shots that are similar or the same subject matter and you just want to get them in one place, then you can do that. I'm going to show you something here. It's really kind of cool. So I'm going to come up. And now, I clicked on the first one. When I find the last one in the group, I'm going to hold down the Shift key, left click to choose all of these images. So here I have 58 items selected. Now I'm going to come up and go to Stacks, Group as Stack. And then you can see right here over on the right side of the workspace that I have 58 images. And if I click on this little arrow thing here, an animated presentation of the thumbnails begins. And then when I see what I want, I just click on the pause button. And then I click on the image that shows. And there it is. Very, very easy to do. Now, the reason it's so good to use Bridge is because it's so easy to find what you need. And then once you find the image that you want to, let's get back here. Once you find the image that you want to work with, I'm going to go ahead and just click on this one. Just double click on the image. Now, when you double click on a raw image, it's going to open Adobe Camera Raw. So just so you know that if that happens to you and you'll go, where's Photoshop? If it's a raw image, it's going to open in Adobe Camera Raw. So let's take a look at the TIFF folder here. And this is shots of my workshop students. I'm going to click on this one and double click on the TIFF image. And you can see that it opens in Photoshop. So very, very easy to open and close your images using Bridge.